Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to today's video, which is a book review of a memoir between two kingdoms. I am really excited to talk to you guys about this memoir. I thought it was phenomenal. This was a four and a half star read for me. So for me, a four star book is a great book. I loved it. Five stars tend to be those more random books that blow my mind. Um, this is one that I highly recommend to um all of you. Let me talk a little bit about what the book is actually about. So our author Suleika was in her early 20s and um, she was really just beginning her adult independent life when she's faced with uh, an illness that originally is undefined. She's experiencing a lot of symptoms. She's not sure what's going on. Um, and then she will find out that she does have uh, leukemia and what is going to happen from this is she's going to embark on a massive treatment journey. So she's going to start out doing your, uh, I would say, more traditional rounds of chemotherapy, not being a specialist in the area, just describing what I understood as her reader of the memoir. From there, she's going to move into a clinical trial. We're also going to see as her uh, treatment require. I think she faces additional challenges. She's going to have to have a bone marrow transfusion. So this is a huge uh, medical, obviously terminal situation she's in that she's facing potentially terminal as she goes through her treatment. Now, what she, the journey she's going to take us on though, is so much more than her medical journey. And that for me was really the part that made me just fall in love with this book. Um, the medical piece is obviously so centered to not just her experience and her fears, but of um, how her whole life is essentially interrupted and put on pause in a lot of ways. The things that you normally would be doing in your 20s, she is unable to do for a number of years. And she's going to talk about that experience. So she's going to bring a lot of the psychological to this book as well. Um, also talking about the impact it is going to have on the people in her life. Um, so the friends, the boyfriend, um, new relationships that'll form over time. And not just in her parents as well, but also about her relationship with herself and her own identity. And I thought she did an absolutely beautiful job of really flushing all of these multiple layers out to her experience and her life during this time and talking about all of them. There was just so, so much here. Um, then what she is going to co um, cover is her recovery phase. So it's really interesting because, you know, you, you kind of go through the journey of her not knowing what's happening to her body, but experiencing the symptoms to um, the actual diagnosis of cancer coming into play then through the various types of treatment she experiences, but then the getting better. And as she puts it like the re-entry to a normal, quote unquote, normal life and what that is like and what she decides to do at this period. And I absolutely love this part of the book so much is she gets in a vehicle and drives all around the country. And what she'll do during this time is she will connect with various people that have um, connected with her during her treatment journey because she does begin to blog. She is interviewed from uh, by NPR and several news, um, large news organizations, um, pick up her story and start to uh, share it with the broader, you know, get her a broader reach. And through all of these, um, all of these outlets, she's going to form a lot of connections to other people that are experiencing their own um, either issues related to cancer and treatment with cancer or other things that her story and her situation just may have resonated with them um, on a personal level, even though they're not going through cancer. And I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to leave it very general like that. Um, but she's going to travel around the country as a healthy person, rebeginning this part of her life and really um, reconnect and connect in person with these people, get to meet them. And um, we're going to hear a lot about those stories as well. It is, this me memoir, you guys, is such a phenomenal book for so many reasons. I mean, if you're into just, you know, coming of age uh, and how your relationships can evolve during times of significant challenge in early adulthood, this is really intriguing. 
If you're just into medical stories, there is a lot here from a medical perspective as well. But there's this is so, like I said before, this is so much more than just medical. She is going to pull in the dynamics of her own growth and identity, the dynamics of the, her relationships to the people around her, her dynamics with her own body and her treatment in the medical community. All of it is going to be here. And I think it's just beautifully reflected on, very intelligently um, presented to the, us, the readers. And I absolutely love this book. And obviously, I'm just highly recommending it to all of you. This particular copy, for those interested, is going in my Pango, Pango shop. I never know how to pronounce it, and I keep meaning to look it up. I'll have the link below. I have a lot of used books for sale there for those interested. If you do decide to read this book or if you've already read it, as always, guys, let me know what you thought below. Um, I just I found this to be definitely one of those the most powerful memoirs I've read, and it's one that will stick with me. Um, and I will look forward to talking to people that, you know, have also read it and hearing everyone else's thoughts and experiences. So Between Two Kingdoms, four and a half stars. Love this book. Um, as always, guys, thank you for watching and let's go read some books. Happy reading.